Another one of the important legal documents that you need as a newlywed is a health care power of attorney. So a health care durable power of attorney says that you grant legal authority, presumably to your spouse, to make uh, decisions for you in case um, that you're at the hospital and you can't make your own decisions. Now, there is a statute that grants you that authority too. I want you to be aware of that, but it is far better to have the durable power of attorney in place. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, if you've granted that authority to your spouse to speak on your behalf, then it's very clear. Also, if you have that healthcare power of attorney in place, and if you worked with an estate planning and elder law attorney, it has within it a very important provision, and that is that you can designate who can speak on behalf of your minor children not just yourself, but your kids. So let's say the family is in a car accident and both you and the other parent are hurt as perhaps a child or children are hurt. Who is gonna speak on behalf of not just you and your spouse, but of your kids? And if you have that uh, healthcare power of attorney where you've said, hey, if that happens, I want this person to be um, directing my children's care. It is such a better situation for the medical treatment, the doctors to deal with, than if they're scrambling to try to figure out who is making decisions on behalf of these kids. And I'm not talking about emergency treatment. Emergency treatment obviously will be rendered, but I'm talking about thereafter what's going to happen in terms of their care? What should their care be? Obviously, you as a parent want to be making that decision for your kids, but if you can't, it is far better that you have designated who will be speaking on behalf of your children. Mm -hmm.